Oh my gosh, update. Oh, prop maker. It's been many, many of days. I'm currently printing the rest of the vacuum chamber. You'll see more about that in a little bit. Um, <clears throat> I have been really hard at trying to get this done because my dad's coming in town and I really want to show him. So I haven't been filming pretty well nothing. Um, I did replace this with the new one. That seemed to help the belt tension. I added the belt tensioner back on here. That seemed to help stuff. Got my clear um, thing over there. I don't know if you've seen it. Uh, I got most of my um, my app done. I'm running it on one of my old phones. So uh, that's working. That's working. And of course the saw is working. But it's not plugged in. If I can turn it on though. Oop, little light. I redid a whole bunch of code. I redid a whole bunch of stuff. Um, I put on this clear thing, which I broke. Uh, I put it on uh, the surrounds. That's pretty annoying. Let me stop it. Um, I got the uh, the lid. Just flops up like that. This whole thing just comes out. Um, yeah, sure, I'll take it out. Slide that out. Set it down here. So that guy slides inside these channels. This flimsy piece of wood holds those together. Um, you can see I did some really fancy work on my seals. Tape folded over the top. Actually works pretty well. This one I folded over sideways so it sits against there. Um, sealed all this. I redid all this rubber and this rubber doesn't stick to my double sided tape. So I added these little things to hold it on here. I don't know. It didn't work but hey. Whatever. Here is my saw. Um, the front half of the saw vacuum. So the other half sits right on here on the back, goes out. I've got this old vacuum hose from an old vacuum I'm going to stick on to this vacuum to give it some more length. And then of course I added these accordion um, backs, which was really interesting. I actually thought I had an extra amount of paper and then realized uh, I actually folded this one uh, the short way, so the tall ways on the paper. It wasn't long enough. I originally put it over here and then I had to end up moving it um, over to here. Total pain in the butt. Um, but uh, yeah, this actually does work. I had to add uh, this piece of uh, copper and add a little clip back there so when this goes back and forth it holds those in. They want to pop out because they're just paper. <laughs> um, oh, I mounted this uh, on here. Oh, and something really funny. I moved the saw, okay, from this side to this side, and then realized this wouldn't go far enough that way, and so I actually had to remake this backplate. This is not the original backplate. You can see this has like paint on it, where the other one had marker sharpie and stuff or whatever. I actually rebuilt the whole backplate. Um, I printed smaller ones of these, the taller ones. Um, they live back here at the moment. These bigger ones will support bigger pieces of material. The problem is, is when this is all the way down, it hits right here. Okay, so that's bad news bears. So I just printed some smaller ones for smaller props, bigger one for bigger props or other objects. So I can just switch these out. That makes life pretty easy. Um, I probably did more, oh, I did this. I got this adjustment down here. So I was having actually a pretty hard time trying to figure out if this one was the same height as this blade. So originally I had like a four inch blade and this is a four and a half inch blade. No, it's a five inch blade and I had a four and a half inch blade. So my four and a half inches is this disc. Well, can't do that on here. So I actually, um, Made this up a little different, fixed this, moved this over, adjusted that, put this in here, put a set screw in here so I can adjust this and get it aligned this way. Then it wouldn't go this way and that wouldn't fit. I, I, I literally tore this whole thing apart and put it back together. But yeah, so this is now fixed and yes it is on a piece of uh, slide rail up here so I can actually unscrew these. Slide this, unscrew that, slide this. I can get this back further so I can cut a bigger prop. Remember, I can get a 36 inch prop on here, right? I only need half 
half of my 36. And these, I'll probably have to poke holes in there, I just noticed, if I wanted to go further back. But yes, these can go further back. What else did I do? I cut this off and left it glued onto this prop. I'm going to use it as my actual test prop. Man, I just, I did so much stuff. Um, but, yeah. It's working. Here, I'll slow this down. Hook this up so you can actually see her kind of run. Of course, it's moving over too fast, but uh, you get the idea. This stuff is no longer missing teeth. It was missing a tooth occasionally on that old belt. Probably put something else here so I don't get my hands in this belt. Just didn't get that far yet. Yeah, I got this big old shroud on here. Anyway. That is the prop maker. I literally been working my tail off because I want to get this done before my dad comes and um, yeah this actually works pretty well so just pop this in this crack kind of bow it a little bit and get it in this side push this together put the lid back on it yowzers tried to get out didn't it Anyway, it is sealed pretty good. I even put a piece of tape up here. Let's try to help seal it. I tried to put this seal on here or something I took apart. That didn't really work. Oh, I got this stick in here too to keep this straight. That was kind of an ingenious idea. I just slid it. Slid that uh, piece of wood in there. Now it keeps it fairly straight. I probably need to turn it over. A piece of carbon fiber would be nice, but I don't have any carbon fiber. So anyway, this is all sealed pretty nicely. Um, I even got like a piece of foam in here when I do a prop I can stick it halfway out um, sealed around those things the best I could to keep the dirt and the air but yeah it's been a serious kit piece of work here um, show you the back kinda not really interesting but you can see how all this stuff fits in here a piece of pipe hanging down get out of the way so anyway there's your update that's the machine. It's pretty well ready. I'm gonna finish that part that's printing over here. Um, I'm probably gonna put a hole in the piece of wood to hold my vacuum tube and it'll come straight out the back. Um, yeah. Man, that bending that uh, accordion back end was really an interesting job. So this is it. I got a basically a couple hours left. This will be finished. I hope everything fits my pipe and everything fits on the rest of my unit over there. Holy cow. I am actually really excited, but extremely tired. I'm gonna go take a shower, go to bed. It's a Wednesday night, late, it's almost 10 o'clock. Um, that's late for me because I get up at uh, four to five, depending on the day. So yeah, prop maker, we're this close to actually like completion. I broke it. This is actually not polycarbonate. I don't have a thin piece of polycarbonate. So I will not be standing in direct line of fire because this will break. But uh, it's better than having nothing. Anyway, I'm pretty excited about this whole thing. And um, I'll let you guys go. Cheers. See you when it uh, is running. Okay, go. Okay, you ready? Yep. She's, she's filming. My wife doesn't watch my videos, but she's... Uh, Look, I can cover up She's your face. She's watching the video live. <laughs> All right, so somebody's gonna ask me how I made the little thing to cover up my slide rails. So I'm gonna tell you, I took a piece of dollar store black poster board. I folded it every inch. You can do whatever you want, but I folded it every inch. Then you need to pick a distance, and then you need to fold this at a 90. And because this stuff's so thick, I really wanted to crease it. I put it in place. Then, I'm going to fold it the other way, so I can crease the rest of them just as well. 
Now, I put tape on there to keep it from ripping. However, now you have this crease like this. Okay, so all you have to do is fold these opposite directions. It is a little bit tricky. Okay, so I folded this opposite direction. It took me a while to figure out how to do it. If you straighten it out, kind of crease them as you go, it'll probably help. Because the center ones aren't folded very well. Tricky. Which way's I gotta go? This I, way? I don't know. I can't do what you're this doing. This way? It's too hard for wifey. That's why I have you. Uh. That one's out. That one's, uh. Which way are we going? In. In. Out. See how the middle isn't folded very well? Because we didn't crease it very well. So you kind of have to kind of have to figure it out as you go. I had a really, really hard time with this, but uh, there you go. I eventually figured it out. Out. This one's not uh, working. There we go. There we go. It's actually really a weird thing to do with paper. And strangely, it's not ripping. You would think it would just rip. It feels like it's going to rip in my hand, let me put it that way. So if you can crease it really well, it'll work uh, better for you. Now on the machine, I actually creased it. Uh, which way does this guy go? Out. I creased it at an angle, not a 90, but like a weird angle, and that actually does work. It, it feels like a strange thing to do with paper, but uh, so there you go. Then I crease it. And, like really get it nice. And there you go, now you've made a 90 degree accordion. Accordion. And that's how I covered up the uh, Side rails, slide rails. Anyway, I did that twice on one single piece. So I did a full piece, single sheet. It was tricky. No, Dad? All right, all right, all right. Uh, it's late, tired, long week. Uh, I got two cameras here. I don't know which one to look at. It's that one. Three comments this week. I don't know. That'll be easy. All right. Um, we were having a conversation, so we'll keep going. Uh, oh, yeah, so the next couple of these videos, I don't know what they're going to really be. I have so many, like, random clips, but at some point, I think I'll try to, uh, I don't know, I'm kind of dragging it out on purpose because I have other content, but I'm not ready to edit it. Whatever. Okay. All right. Ha ha. No, it does not bother me at all. We were talking about if it bothered him to see his icon on here. Um, what happens if I click it? Ooh. Cool. Now how do I get back? There we go. Alright. Haha, no it doesn't bother me at all. About my name, I made this account when YouTube just started, like 2008 or so. YouTube started in 2006. But close enough. I got my account in 2007 at the very beginning. I was like three months, four months after YouTube started. Which is kind of crazy. Or so I was like 12 years old. <laughs> nice. I never actually changed the name after that. I think I was trying to make mwahaha with numbers instead of letters and horribly failed. I'm also not exactly sure why my profile picture is the how about no bear nowadays. I guess it must have just made sense at some point in my life. We do some interesting things. Twelve. So you're like uh, tw whoa, twenty uh, uh, something. Yeah, cool. How in the world did you find my channel anyway? All right. Russ says the name reference is the mountains in the northern New York where I live now. In northern New York where I live now. Broken down. I. 
der ron dax for me i think i knew this already because we talked about it at some point while you were actually here uh just call me just call me russ that's a lot easier <laughs> keep the videos coming peace i got them coming brother uh and then soul energy says uh, man i reached out about my rodent coil you haven't gotten back to me um so just fyi if I don't find I can actually be of help, I don't respond to emails because I get too many to be able to be helpful for everyone. I would sit here all day and respond to emails. So apparently I didn't think that, um, what, come on in. I didn't think that it was, I didn't have any positive input. What? We are talking to? We're talking to the camera. Oh, wow, okay. But you gotta go up here like that. <laughs> Anyway, all right, well, that's it. Okay, next question? No, we're done. Oh, okay. I only had three comments. Oh, man. They got to get on it if they want me to work hard. Yeah. Anyway, all right, well, that's all I got. Peace and love. Have a good day. Bye. Cheers. <laughs>